if not for internet, we don't know where we for day. Because all these revelations, all these old videos, where we they see for internet, where they expose these people, where they expose the way we for day. How people are on Twitter? Imagine if Tinubu become president, at the year inaugurated our president, the first thing, and to shut down social media straight. Oh yeah, because now he's not doing me. They might even go agree, say we they give my blood pressure. <laughs> Meanwhile, now we say, but we quick quiet. Uh, Tinubu is not too old. It is not about age. This Tinubu, when he was even he's, he's in his prime, he was having the strength and vigor as governor of Lagos State. Condemned President Olusha Obasanjo for appointing Chief Tony Aneni into uh, as chairman of Nigeria Post Authority. This not even MDO chairman just to sit on the board of the Port Authority. Uh, um, Tinubu was angry. He was bitter and he expressed that in the video. Oh yeah, watch. The present president is a very young man, mm. but he's been appointing a three-year-old man somewhere to be chairman, not of just a board of trustee, but of a post authority where high decision articulated more than 21st century information technology needed where the man cannot afford, uh, uh, identify the keyboard. <laughs> so when you see videos like this, are you not hear from Nigerians who are insinuating that our 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 pursuit for the fact that we must elect a young, vibrant president who is also who is also competent with capacity and has the character, you see that we have got we have got a leverage to 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 to, to work in with. Look at Dinibu now. Say an enemy so for a, a, a just government agency of Nigeria Authority. Then you want to you want to elect the man to be governor to be president of Nigeria. So years ago, before they got to power. For those of you that are saying that obedient are too rude and arrogant, we are talking too much. We should not insult the man's head. We should not talk about his 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 his, his illness or his frailness. Keyamu, who is now the leading spokesperson of the Tinubu Shetima's campaign organization, called Maru Musa Eradua. And I want this video to go to everywhere. It should be shared. The Northerner should see this. That a man that was as heroic as Maru Musa Eradua, late President Maru Musa Eradua, was called a man with half liver. Why, President, former President? Guloko Bele Jonathan was called a man with half brain. That's the situation. Watch Kiyamo saying that with his mouth, with his own mouth. Watch it. And then we are concerned, we are all concerned. No. Obasanjo should have first of all apologized to Nigeria. Before writing a letter to Obasanjo Jonathan, he should have written a letter to Nigeria saying, I am sorry for getting you where to where we are today. He's not behaving as if he's the victim. Writing that letter, he's one of us. He's not one of us. He's the architect of this problem. He was the one that imposed somebody with half liver and half brain on us. Somebody with half liver, somebody with half brain imposing on us. And that's where we have the problem we are today. No, so what are you talking about? What exactly do you want us to take? If Keyamu, a lawyer, at that time wasn't an SCN, he was a lawyer, and he, because he was in the opposition, he called a, a former president, right? A man with half liver. He went on to call a city president a man with her brain. Nothing was done to him. Nobody. That's how they got to power. The reason why APC is angry with us today is because they knew this is how they got to power. Pol campaign of calumny, political, political arrogance, insulting city president. But now we cannot talk. Wait till that small boy talk that the way I shall bury go lock up for, 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 for Jay. What has she said? What has he said? Sorry. But you see, Kiyama will go to this essay, nobody arrested, nobody harassed him. Finally, in the spirit of old videos that are getting leaked, it's good now that APC is going to, 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 to South East to go and campaign for vote. To go and ask that they should vote them that they have plans. That Tiribu said that he has plans to turn South East to Taiwan. Whereas his running mate, Shetima, has only expressed the mind and interest of APC uh, as against the the South Eastern to Ibukule Amosu, former governor. Watch the video. The audio got leaked and then it's been everywhere. Listen to it. Listen to it. Get sense. Igbo people, listen to this. Share this video. Let it get. The problem is, as you said, did Barry not promise South East that he was going to hand over presidency to them because of marginalization? Why did Tinubu and his cronies in the APC refuse that agenda to marginalize? We are South Eastern are not crying. 
on the podium at the national convention, the special national convention, to electing the presidential candidate of the party. That the people of APC did they listen? Where Tinubu picked his verse, now he went to pick a man that has been known to be an enemy of our southeastern, communicating that they were going to ensure. Of course, the things that they had planned, so maybe they couldn't fulfill all of them with Buhari. Now they do. Go, listen to the audio and share this video. Let this video go around. Uh, share this silly video. Tinubu, Keyamu, Shetima, and Amosu. These are the elements in the APC, controlling the affairs of the APC. Look at all their hidden thoughts that has not been revealed. Share this video. Let it go around. I don't go. So, that was why the Yoruba said no. Whatever it is. So, but what I assure you, Mm -hmm. Keep on praying for uh, President Debra. Yeah, I, I oh God, we have learned our lesson. We have been we, in our area here now. They be praying for him. To, to we, have, we, have, we have learned our lesson. Kule. We, we pray for the and, prophet. And, and even our prophet. No, to, to tell you the truth. The yes. north, the northern people, not we stand yes. in the presidency. Honestly, yes. the trust at least of the southeast is finished. And I assure you too, in your Yoruba land. Yeah, Listen to me. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. Help in 1979. I am coming, please. They have Chagari, uh, Listen to me. Not that they have, they have themselves, gentlemen, please. We don't need anybody in this country. They have themselves. Let me ask you a question, sir. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Between cars, yeah. industries, and human beings, who are more in number? I did not announce now. Ah, not, not number. Not, I'm talk, not talking of population. I'm talking of economy now. I'm okay, talking of okay. cars, car, car, the motors that we drive. Yes. And industries that we have. Yes. If you put them on one part and you put human beings on the other part, who are more in number? Ah. <laughs> cars are more. <laughs> car, cars are more than human beings? Human beings, human beings, human beings. Human beings. Good. Two, if you put fuel and food by the side, which one is consumed more? Ah, is food now. Good. And we have food. So yes. people are actually helping themselves. Let me tell you, even in your Yoruba let me tell you what they will do to you for this yes. What yes. Oba of Lagos said that we are pushing them to the ocean. Most of these markets that are burning in Lagos, look at it, they are evil dominated markets. Yes. You get me? They, yes. uh, they, they, they are, they, in fact, some Yoruba were telling me when I was in Lagos last weekend that it is we, the Northerners, when we are in charge of Lagos as federal capital, that open room yes. for evil to come and dominate them. And it's over yes. now. And it's over. <laughs> <laughs> All the businesses Ibos are doing, we are going to bring it and do it. <laughs> do you get me? Fashola yeah, for yeah, Fashola for the past for the past five years have refused mm. to approve any industry, especially pharmaceutical, to Ibo people. Find out. You are, you are right. I get you. Are right. Do you get me? Right. So the Eurobus in these four years, that's what we are telling us. If we in the north want to be useless again, let us be. But the Yoruba people in the four years they want to control their land completely. That's why Buhari have to sign that Lagos is going to be given special status. Mm. We are going to have a kind of semi-regional system. Lagos is going to have special status. It means nobody again will control Lagos. The indigenous of Lagos are the ones that are going to control Lagos. They can form mm. land policies. Do you get me? Mm. They may decide yeah. to say you as a Yoruba man in Lagos you'll pay 5,000 Naira per annum for a land. As Chena mm. Me, as yeah. a house man, I'll pay 10,000 Naira. Even man will pay 1 million Naira. <laughs> this is why they're hitting for. Do you get me? So, the, yes. uh, now, unfortunately, again, the attitude of the Igbos have made the illiterate Northerners who have not gone to school to realize now, I say they are powerful. They are the one who gave mm. these people land to stay. They are the one who give them food by the power of God. Yes. They are the one who accommodated yes. them. By the power of God. Yes. Do you get me? Yes. Since yes. Ibos can turn around and humiliate us, look at what they did to us. They, those people that they assembled, about 400 of them, and called them Boko Haram. Do you understand? Mm. Do you know that they yes. picked them one by one? They were not moving in convoy. They made some of them to drink their urine. Mm. We also have to come and meet the president and tell him that, look, if one person is killed among these people, I'm telling you, no Iboma will come out of Kano. Hmm. That was how they released the Hausa people from Jigawa and Kano, whom they selected and arrested and called them Boko Haram. Two, you are in Nigeria, I'm in Nigeria. Rochester was yes. actually brought up in the north. But yes. it is in his own state. That's why we are telling you, even the Amechi, the Rochester, that are MPs, we don't trust them. They are on their own. Let me tell you this. 
they are on their own. Nobody can deceive us again. We are wise they are now. Business men, uh, they are business men. No, what I, what I'm telling you, like what I'm telling you is that Rochas was in. He is running to Sultan. He didn't know Sultan has no significance in this government. Even last two days he was in Sokoto. He didn't know that even Sultan has no significance in this, in this government. He, he, he was in this loss. It was Rochas state. He must state that they started saying that Hausa people must have yes. ID card to live in that state. Yes. Can you hear me? They say Hausa yes. people must have ID card to live in state. Yes. Until when we mobilize our people there and say, okay, in that case, all thousands must live north. Then Jonathan now realized that there was something going on. He said, no, these things have to stop. So are we mad? Do you get me? Count every yes, five shop in this in this north. Six, four shops are owned by Ibos. What what is Ubo's contribution in the economy? It's not threat. 